You know, the Israelites, they get taken out of Egypt. They were slaves in Egypt. <laughs> they get taken out of Egypt. And you know what's amazing, Peter? They get taken out of Egypt. The blood of the pure spotless lamb gets applied to the doorposts of the each family. Each family's doorpost gets blood applied to it. Remember that? And guess what happens? Because, Brandon, because of the blood, death passes over them. They don't taste death. They actually get given life. They get set free from death. They get set free from sickness. The Bible says there were no feeble among them. And thirdly, they got set free from poverty. They get all of this stuff. They see God open the Red Sea in front of them. God annihilating the enemies. Friends, I want to tell you this. You and I cannot annihilate our past. We cannot deal with our past. God came to literally come and even cleanse us from a guilty conscience. That past that the enemy wants to remind you of, you remind him of his future. Hello? So guess what happens? These guys are seeing God destroying the most powerful force, the most powerful kingdom on the planet. And so what happens? They sent 12 spies. And the 12 spies go and take hold of the inheritance. I'm not now talking about freedom from slavery. I'm talking about taking hold of inheritance. What did they say? Oh, those guys are giants. And you know, God didn't lie because God spoke the truth. It is a land flowing with milk and honey. Look at the abundance. But, listen to this. But we are like grasshoppers in their eyes and in our own eyes. What? You saw God annihilate the most powerful, uh, the, the most powerful um, dynasty kingdom on the planet. You saw God do 10 plagues. You saw God deliver you from death. You saw God take you from poverty to riches. You saw God take you from slavery to freedom. But hey, I still see myself as a grasshopper. So I am a grasshopper. 